two are very far away and we can't really see them. Um, so we're, we're next to three universes. Um, and Tura said that when they visited, he, he, they visited there to see what the difference was between universes. And he said, he said, Tom, he said, you know, when you go out, he said, you have no basis of understanding. Uh, uh, you know, you're going to think everything's different when you when you go out to the stars. But he said, I, he said, I guarantee they are really different. <laughs> so whatever that means. <laughs> So it all depends on the creator of that particular universe, you know, what they wanted to do. And there's billions of creators with billions of uh, universes, as small as the head of a pen, and larger, much, much, much larger than our universe. So that's where I am. Um, I can take questions. Too bad. Yes? How might, how might we develop the ability to communicate with our guardian angel or with? Um, it's really fairly simple, okay? Um, there's, I, I didn't bring, uh, bring it with me today, but um, there's uh, uh, Richard Suffin, he's also known as Dick Suffin has a, a CD, and maybe he has it in MP3 by now, I don't know, but he has a CD called Spirit Guides. And, and I consider him the best hypnotist I've ever found. And if you listen to that CD, he's very melodic, and he'll put you down, and then he'll give you uh, a, a little time uh, after he puts you into this altered state to ask a question or questions of your own guardian angel. And he calls them spirit guides uh, because people have different terminologies. Same, same thing. And uh, you can ask questions, and then he brings you back up. So that's about the easiest way of doing it that I've found. What's his last name? Sutphin, S-U-T-P-H-E-N, Sutphin. He's, he's the guy that wrote, um, uh, let's see, I think it was Born Again to Be Together. He's got some classics in the metaphysical field. He was also the guy that conned the term, uh, coined the term, pardon me, um, vortexes for Sedona. So he, uh, he now has moved back to Sedona and uh, uh, has all of his workshops and, uh, and actually he trains hypnotists um, uh, because he was even the president of the hypnosis, uh, National Hypnosis Society at one time. So a uh, really, really cool guy. I, I like him a lot. What's his DVD called? It, it's called Spirit Guides. Spirit, can you, yep. Where would you find it? Uh, go to richardsutphin.com. Hopefully you can find it there. My, if not, try Amazon. Because uh, I know he's reloading his website. He, uh, he, has been going through a divorce, <laughs> all those things that happen. And, and uh, uh, so I know he's putting a lot of new things on his website all the time. His name is Richard. Richard S-U-T-P-H-E-N, dot com. OK, next question, I see. Yes. Uh, I was, my, my son uh, Very tall? Very tall. Okay. Uh, just like us, telepathy. But very tall. Right. And then, but then I started thinking when you said you're sending short, that's probably to reassure us that it's okay. But I saw very tall. Right. But my idea was if you're going to send somebody, you're not going to send short to fetch you like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to send someone who's physically able. And, and there, there will be, uh, he said, that, uh, and Tura told me that on his uh, mothership, that probably the tallest being there will be seven feet. But he says, he says there are actually beings in the universe that are like 15 feet, even reptilians. Now, can you imagine meeting a reptilian in a dark alley, 15 feet tall? Golly. <laughs> okay. I'm coming from like a Catholic perspective. Okay. Uh, Fatima, in her, uh, when she came out and she was in front of uh, 
the children, she gave them kind of prophetic things that were to happen, like Russia was to be converted. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Catholic uh, Church, like the Vatican, start coming out saying that there are some, uh, you know, conversions to be made to aliens when they do come in. Mm -hmm. And so I said, and then Russia lately has uh, mandated that uh, Catholicism is to be taught in Russia. You know, moving away from uh, allowed to be taught, yeah. yeah. And so uh, this kind of movement towards that kind of goes along with what you're saying. You know, yeah. The exposure that, that will be coming forth. Right. right. I ask. I, I said, um, uh, Antura will will the Pleiadians or anybody visit the Vatican on that like that first trip? And he said, No. He said the Vatican will not want to see them at first. He said eventually they will accept um, a, a Pleiadian representative or whatever that will come uh, to talk to them. So th they're going to be, oh my gosh, what are we going to do You know, when, when uh, that happens? It could be that Russia, uh, they were more willing to work with Russia because Russia was not religious based. Exactly. And that's that's one of the major things. It's just new information. It's not yeah. countering, it's yeah. canceling information. Right. I'll, I'll try it, then I'll get there. Yeah, you said that uh, Earth and the Moon were moved from Sirius B. Not the Moon. Okay. Well, okay. Earth was moved to. Yeah. Uh, that's what I've been told. Our, our bigger place. That, that it, we were sort of isolated. Is there any anything that they have given you or, or told you why? Well, the major reason was to isolate us for the Earth experiment. Now, you have to understand the Earth experiment is for our souls to be put, this is what I've been told, our souls are on a fast track to raise their vibrational levels. One day, our souls are supposed to meld together, which has never been done in any universe ever, and they're going to take over for this creator and allow the creator to go to another level or do something else. I've been told another level, but I don't know. And, uh, and the creator kind of doesn't know. He, it's kind of, supposedly, uh, the words passed on to me, he's kind of curious. Well, what's next? And, uh, and the other thing, of course, the Earth Experiment did was that no other um, society in any universe had been able to work with negativity. And we've been able to work with major amounts of neg negativity, had been able to overcome it. And as of that harmonic convergence in 1987, we passed the point where we're going to destroy ourselves. And we won't ever, that will never happen. And, um, and when we go out to the stars, uh, uh, Antura says one of the major things that we're going to come out with, and everybody's kind of like, oh, God, it's coming, you know, not too long, uh, is is the fact that um, uh, we're going to introduce minute amounts of negativity. As an example, nobody plays games in the universe because that requires a winner and a loser. Okay, so they don't play games. So we're going to introduce 0.2% to 2.0% negativity. That's the most we'll introduce to any society. And that's, that's going to be the, one, the great gift that we're going to give when we, and that's why they are so hopeful that we're going to obviously be a member of the Federation when we come on board. Uh, yes, over here first. Okay, and now we're getting into belief systems, okay? So, uh, and, and, and so, uh, I, I really had discussions with people on this before. All I can tell you is what I've been told, and I'm not trying to convince anybody, all right? Uh, I've been told that Jesus was the greatest um, human to ever walk the earth, not because he was the son of God, because he was not created by this creator. He was created by another creator, and, and the, his soul came to this universe, was attracted to it, and, and where all of our souls have six to 12 fragments, 
there was only one big fragment of his soul that had a life on earth, and that's why, why he was capable of doing so many more things than, than we are capable of doing. That's, that's what I've been told. So was he crucified and all that stuff? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it's, it, it's in my newsletters. Uh, you, can, you can read in detail. Uh, by the way, my newsletters you can, uh, you can go to. Uh, uh, it's, uh, let's see, what is it? ETConversations.com. That's my new one. But it links up with TheGentleWayBook.com. So you either go TheGentleWayBook.com or ETConversations.com. And uh, I was told that, that he, he was not. And, and actually um, wound up going to France and, and there's, well actually, the whole family went to India for a while and, and then eventually back and, and went to France. And of course there's, uh, there's a town on the coast of France that, that, has, uh, uh, that has church with, uh, uh, with uh, his, his wife's uh, Babies or something. I can't remember what it is. You'll have to look that up. Yeah. You know, I was a visit of um, seven being in 1982, mm -hmm. and they were really, really, really nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, okay. some of you are like, oh, and they just took me. Yeah. No, it was like that. They were dressed in robes and, and colors and stuff. Oh, they great. were really nice, but they said to remember the number six, and the next day I did, and I remembered that the things were not four. Hmm, I wonder what the six was. But I thought they may have come, I kind of thought they came together uh, like a family. Like they were my family. Yeah, very probably true. Like we're we're all people. we're all from other worlds. Like I mean, school. every single one of us, Arcturians, Pleiadians, yeah. you know, and even farther out, you know, all the 200 planets supposedly have sort of representatives, but but the Pleiadians and Syrians and Arcturians were the major three uh, that were involved with our uh, DNA um, and so on. Okay. Sorry, I had a legal thing, so maybe, maybe, this, maybe this is why I didn't understand with clarification on what he had said over there a minute ago. How is bringing 2% um, negativity get to the other world? Oh, when, when we introduce these games and everything, uh, and they start having the, uh, the games with the negativity, you have to understand, I, I, you know, as of somewhere this month, we're supposed to have arrived at the fifth focus, the fifth dimension. You know, everybody's talked about that. And we're like at 5.000000, okay? And so I thought these other ones, you know, because they've been around for a billion years and everything, they'd be like at 5.8 or 9 or something like that. They're all stuck at like 5.3, 5.35 in that, in that range. Um, so in other words, they've stagnated. They're not. They're not growing. Their souls are not. Are, are not uh, raising their vibrational levels. This is the frequency. Is what you're saying, right? Hmm? That's the frequency. Yeah. The fr uh, yeah. Of their negativity, of the gains. In no. Uh, no. I mean. In general. Uh, yeah. In other words, all of our souls want to raise. I mean, that's why our souls have lives. Our souls are having hundreds of thousands of lives across this universe. We're not just the only thing that they're doing. They're not just sitting around waiting for, you know. Our, I mean, our souls are tremendously powerful, uh, much more than we, we understand. And, and so uh, they, they've reached a level where they can't increase their vibrational levels to a higher level. And that's what we're supposed to do by bringing negativity to them. We will push them along. We're going to kick alien butt. Because, <laughs> because it's the game, I, I still am not quite sure about the negativity. The, the games uh, uh, are, are neg require negativity because when you have winners and losers, that creates a negativity. Some have <laughs> negative energy. And that's, you have to understand, I'm not a scientist, so that's. That's as close as I could probably get. So that will challenge them. It's yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot of soul growth. Yes. When you have hurt. 
There's yeah. a lot of soul growth and negative things that happen to you. Yes. Probably more so than when things are going smooth. Exactly. You learn more. You learn more. So and, and 